Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, approximately 12.30 in Honolulu, 6.30 in New York on Monday, 21st day of June, 2021, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. We saw a 180 degree reversal in both US equities as well as the precious metals when statements from two Fed members today alluded to the fact that inflation might be more persistent. We'll talk about that in detail along with the technical indicators that are pointing to a potential bottom in gold on today's show, which begins now. The Federal Reserve's announcement last week that there would be two rate hikes in 2023 is based upon the assumption that the current rate of inflation is transitory and will not persist for that long of a period of time. However, today, two Fed members came out saying that they believe inflation will be persistent even in 2022. And that means that the Fed might not be able to react with rate hikes as quickly as they announced last week. That sent the financial markets dramatically higher and the precious metals dramatically higher. Gold closed up $14.50 at $17.83.50. And as you can see from the chart below, it has broken back above some very, very key levels that could now be indicating potential support. The level that I'm speaking about is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. We closed right at that price point on Friday, and today we opened well below it and closed well above it. We also can identify a two-day candlestick pattern called an engulfing bullish. We will talk about both of those when we pull up some charts. It is also noteworthy to look at the dollar and the technical indicators being the exact opposite of what we saw in gold. We've created a Fibonacci retracement from the highs created at the end of March down to the lows in the middle of May, taking the dollar index to about 89.50. And when we do that, we can see that it traded just above the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement on Friday and effectively opened above it and closed below it, creating a two-day candlestick pattern called an engulfing bearish. We are looking at a daily gold chart in candlestick format, and we are also looking at the same Fib retracement that we spoke about during our pricing section. As you can see, we had a defined rally that took gold from approximately 1677 up to about 1918 before trading really sideways and then dropping tremendously, actually dropping below on an intraday basis, the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement on Friday and then closing just at it. Today, we opened just below it and we closed well above it. That creates a two-day candlestick pattern called an engulfing bullish. Now, you don't act upon this candlestick pattern unless it, you get a confirming candle tomorrow, which would be a large green candle with a higher high and a higher low than occurred today, and that would trigger a buy signal in gold. Currently, we see resistance at 1795. That is the 100-day moving average. And then again, when we look at the 38.2% retracement, so traders, we will wait another day to see if we get a confirming candle. If we do, we will issue a buy signal in gold. Looking at silver, today's gains were tepid at best, a two cent gain, taking silver futures to $25.99. But you'll see when we pull up a chart, although it broke above the 200 day moving average, there are technical indicators still pointing to a bearish demeanor for the precious white metal. We are looking at a daily candlestick chart of silver futures. We can see that one interesting aspect is that silver did trade to a lower low today than it did on Friday, unlike gold. However, it did close back above the 200-day moving average. We still are not buyers until we get through a key resistance area. It's a 50% retracement at approximately $26.10. We can see in terms of historical data that there was a definite level of sideways trading when we hit that price band in previous sessions in April through about the first week of May. 
which means that we are going to be much more cautious about entering a long position in silver and await an effective close above $26.12 before entering the market. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.